Hi, my name is Michael Carden. Today I would just like to share uh, just a little story about my mentor, Papa Joe Jones. When I first came to New York in uh, 1973 with Freddie Hubbard's band, I used to go to the Professional Percussion Center on 8th Avenue and 50th Street. It was owned by Frank Ippolito. Frank Ippolito was a very brilliant man because he had the greatest drum, in my opinion, in the world that visit his shop every day. And of course, Frank paid him to appear. So I met Elvin Jones. And Elvin was getting ready with, uh, was really beginning to get busy with his band, Elvin Jones Machine. So Elvin said, well, hey, man, you can teach. Why won't you come up and I'll introduce you to Frankie Polito. And I'm leaving, and you can teach at the shop. So I said, okay, great, great, Elvin. So he uh, took me over, and I met um, Frank. So Frank said, okay, well, come on in. You can teach here at the shop. So one day, I'm coming downstairs to get my next student, and all these guys in the shop, uh, Buddy Rich was there because Buddy Rich Club was, uh, was still open then. Buddy Rich was there. Gene Krupa was there. And here's this guy standing there with brushes, playing them on newspaper, on, on the New York Times. And, and he was surrounded by all these guys, so I could just see the top of his head. And I'm like, and then somebody said, that's Papa Joe. And I'm like, wow, Papa Joe. So then he would come every day. So I taught on Fridays and Saturdays then. So one Saturday we met, so uh, he was telling me, he said, he say, do you know how I lost my hair? I say, no, sir. And he did this. Say, from taking bows. You know? <laughs> I, I was like, okay, okay. I said, well, uh, well, Mr. Jones, he said, my name is Jonathan Davis, Samuel Jones, better known as Papa Joe. I say, wow, Papa Joe. So he, he used to come, come all the time. But the greatest lesson that he taught me, because I didn't study with any drummer. The only drummer I studied with was my father, Henry Carvin Sr. He gave me pretty much what I needed. And the other guys, the reason why all of the great drummers adopted me, well, Papa Joe adopted me, and all of the other great drummers embraced me because I never asked them to show me anything. And they let me be around them because I had my own identity. I had my own sound. I didn't know exactly what I was doing but I had my own sound. So Papa Joe always told me, this is the greatest lesson that Papa Joe taught me, and maybe it'll help you. This is it. Always remember, and he always called me young talent. He say, always remember, young talent, all programs are subject to change at any given time. <laughs> Papa Joe Jones. I hope you enjoyed that. My name is Michael Carvin. Oh, I want to lose my hair. Papa Joe Jones, thank you.